I'm Carol Ronnebaum, the Seniors Real Estate Specialist with Coal Banker American Home, and we are joined today with Diane Holloway with Kansas uh, Appraisal and Estate Services. Thank you so much for coming today, Diane. You're welcome. Um, you know, we're taping this during the COVID uh, time period, and uh, but I feel like we have enough space between us. If, do you feel comfortable removing your mask? So yes, I do. Visit? All right, let's do that. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> yes, my glasses won't fog up now. Yeah, exactly. Well, Diane, uh, tell me, what what is an estate salesperson? Uh, we are hired by families when a loved one passes away or a husband and wife decide to relocate, downsize, uh, to help them liquidate their contents of their home. Oh, okay. Good, good. So, so is, is it just the contents of your home? Tell me, can you expand a little bit about what the services are that you provide? Okay. Um, well, we go beyond the home. We can also sell automobiles, uh, lawnmowers, things like that. But um, we ask that you leave everything in your home that you don't want to keep if you're still living and moving. Don't throw anything away. And uh, we come in and price everything, set it up and stage it as if you were still living there. And We don't just put things on a table and stick a price on them. We try to make the house look lived in and attractive so mm -hmm. that it's also uh, an opportunity to show your house to the public. Sure, well good. And uh, and then you get as much money as we can for you and us. Uh-huh, okay, well good. Now do people need to do any prep work prior for you, prior to you coming in? Actually, the only thing that we ask you to do is uh, deal with financial papers mm -hmm. and uh, personal things. And other than that, there's no preparation. Uh, I think sometimes people think that you need to get ready for us or do work for us. And our motto is we solve your problems, not create them. And so we ask that you just get what you need and want to keep and let us do the rest of the work. Well, well that, that sounds simple enough. enough. Can I hire you? <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, so you mentioned you sell vehicles. Um, I Are you familiar with antiques? Do you sell those? Yes. Is that just personal household items? We, we try to sell everything. I'm a licensed antique appraiser. Oh, okay. And so we are uh, qualified to sell virtually anything. Uh, if you have some, uh, when, when I get to your home, if I feel like you have some unusually valuable art, then I may suggest that we go to a, an uh, certified art appraisal, mm -hmm. um, or if you have some ex expensive, very valuable um, jewelry, okay, then I'll send you to a jeweler. Okay, sure. and instead of using a middleman, there's no point in that. Right, right. So my goodness, uh, you, there's a whole array of items uh, that a person may have in their home. Um, how can you know the prices, the value of, of so many, so many items? So well, many we've, you know, we'll be selling everything things. from a half full box of Ziploc bags to <laughs> if you have a, a set of luggage or, um, or a collection of, um, of uh, glassware or, or uh, bohemian glass or um, your Waterford crystal. And if, uh, a lot of it's experience, but we also check current market values oh. uh, so that we know what thing, not only what things are worth, but what they're selling for on today's market. Oh, okay. Because uh, sometimes what they're worth and what they're selling for are not the same things. Uh, sure, true. So, you know, we want to be ready when we uh, open the sale to the public to sell your items. We, we don't want to open a museum. Because mm -hmm. the whole point of the sale is for you to liquidate your things, not still have them left when the sale is over. But we sell everything. Sheets, towels that you don't want anymore, not just furniture. And that's why we ask you not to throw anything away. Tupperware, everything is sellable. I've learned a long time ago, and I've been in the business for 25 years, there's a buyer for everything. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. And there people collect everything nowadays. Yes, they do. Uh, I think the pickers has really created that for for <laughs> Yes, me, they for have. <laughs> so, um are you insured? Yes. Okay. Bonded? As much as uh, in this in the state of Kansas, some states allow certain kinds of bonding. Um and then others don't and Kansas doesn't allow a, a great deal of bonding but okay. um, I've been in the business for 25 years and I've never left town with anybody's money <laughs> uh, and when I have a sale we close out on Sunday afternoon and then on Monday morning I present you with your check oh my goodness that is a very quick turnaround absolutely it's your money not mine well wow, that's wonderful we also operate with uh, strictly cash and credit card and debit cards, so okay. there's no time waiting for checks to clear or anything like that. Okay, well, good, good. Um, I since you've been in business for so many years, uh, I would imagine you have a following of sorts. And yes, I do. Do you work with antique dealers and those those different yes. types of services as well? And we've been in the business so long, you learn uh, who in town buys certain items mm -hmm. or, or a certain genre of items and if we go into your home and we find those things there we notify them oh well we've got mid-century modern or victorian or we have a nice collection of sterling flatware or whatever it might be and we notify those people don't miss the sale and then as a part of our process we take pictures and post them a week ahead of time and then all during the week prior to your sale, we put up new pictures. So we kind of stir the pot and get everybody excited about the sale. We use uh, social media for that, and we advertise on Craigslist, and then we put up a, a big ad in the paper the weekend of your sale. So we try to use all avenues available to us. Sure. And then, uh, as has been our experience, we'll have people in line on Saturday morning, the day of the sale, as early as 6.30, Oh and we don't goodness. open till 10. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. If they want it bad enough, there <laughs> and people come from out of state. If if you're um if you have some really unusual things, we will boost our um advertising past Topeka to regional and sometimes we even go nationwide depending on what you have and we've sold over the phone to people in Las Vegas or California or my goodness. So we try to... You're known uh, worldwide. I sense. guess. <laughs> but we try to, you know, when I see what you have, I want to do the best I can to sell your merchandise for the best possible price. Sure. And sometimes that means going outside of the Topeka area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, so you sell outside of the Topeka area online and such. Uh, how far do you typically travel What's to do a sale? I, I will go as far as it will pay me to go. I, I don't really like to go out of, outside the Topeka area, but, you know, if it's an hour and a half, uh, say two hours, and it's uh, the sale has enough in it to pay me to make that trip, I'll do that. Okay. But it has to be a large enough sale to pay those expenses. Sure. So, so, so generally, Topeka and the maybe surrounding communities. Yes. yes. Shawnee, yes. kind of Shawnee County yes. area. Yes. Okay. Well, well that, that in, in itself is a, a pretty wide area. area. Yes, it is. So. <laughs> but if the if it calls me, I'm going. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, how much time do you need to prepare for an estate sale? Generally, I like to allow two weeks. That okay. gives a person time to uh, get a sale ready as well as allow for any kind of emergency that might arise, whether it be on the seller's side or my side. Uh, sometimes, you know, things will happen. You will have an emergency come up. The seller, the house needs to close sooner and mm -hmm. we'll need to do it within a week. And if that's what we need to do, we'll do that. Um, even if it's harder, because sometimes that just happens. Sure. We try to do everything we can to accommodate the seller. Okay. So that's who okay. we're working for. Sure, sure. So, so it's, it's really, really best, best for the seller to move out of the home prior to you coming in to start the preparation Absolutely. work. Is that correct? 
Absolutely. It's, uh, it's too hard for those who it, the home belongs to to try to live while we're setting a sale up. Sure. It's just too hard, as well as it's hard for us because we're staging the sale and we are going to run into each other. Mm -hmm. So it's better for everybody for you to move and let us come right in behind you and set it up. Okay. Well, that sounds smart. So, yeah. And how do you charge? We charge 40%. And we bear all expenses. There are no extra fees at all. The, the amount that we sell, for example, if we sell $1,000, you get 600 free and clear. And we bear all expenses, advertising, labor, trash, that kind of thing. Now, if, if we have a sale, let's say, for instance, um, you are one of those people who keeps everything, for instance, every scrap of paper that's ever come with, to you, Mm -hmm. And we know we're going to have an unusual amount of things to throw away mm -hmm. that are not valuable. Then we will get a dumpster. But we do that with your permission, and we charge a fee for that, the dumpster rental fee. But we don't do that without your permission mm -hmm. ahead of time. Okay. All right. And once your sale is completed, uh, how is the house left? When we're done we uh, ask you how you want us to take care of things that are left over. They're your items, so you control what happens to them. You can keep them, we can donate them for you, we can sell them to a wholesaler who will come in sometimes and offer you a blanket price for everything that's left, or uh, we will uh, get rid of them one mm -hmm. way or the other. Mm -hmm. However, you dictate what we do. We get the house totally empty and then we clean it. Oh, you clean it as well? Yes. Oh, well, and, that's nice. And I mean clean it. It's ready for new occupants when we're done. Okay. Wow. Well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful service. So. And all of that is con is part of our 40%. That's all in that 40%. That's right. Well, that's no so hidden fees. Wonderful. Good, good. Well, Diane, is there other anything that maybe I haven't visited with you about that you want to share with us? About the only thing I'd like to say is that when we work for you, the items that we're selling always belong to you. And once we get started, let's say, for instance, you've moved and you decide, I've got room for that corner cabinet mm -hmm. or that chair, but I didn't take it. It's your chair. You come and get it. It belongs to you. It is not mine. And there's no problem with that. We're not going to tell you, no, you can't have it or you have to pay me for it, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So we always keep in mind that we are working for you and ultimately you're the boss. Mm -hmm. We will give you advice, but ultimately we follow your instructions and we're selling your things and they don't belong to us. There you go. Well, good. Have you ever run across items that maybe the homeowner has forgotten? Yes. We have, and uh, we have a safe room. We, we pick a room, usually it's the bathroom, and we'll put a box in there, and if I find things that I feel like are sentimental or personal financial papers that need to be protected, we will put them in there, and I'll notify you that you need to come and check these things out. Also, sometimes you'll forget that you've put money in a place and you forgot about it. And that money belongs to you, it is not mine. And we will call you to come and pick up your money, or I'll hide it in the freezer compartment of the refrigerator and you can come get it. <laughs> so, um, you know, that I like to sleep at night and I don't keep something that doesn't belong to me. And money found is not part of the 40%. Okay. And one piece of advice I, I always tell everybody don't throw anything away. Don't assume it's trash unless you know it's financial mm -hmm. um, papers that need to be destroyed. Right. Let us decide whether it can be sold or not. <laughs> Once again, there's a collector for everything. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, Diane, thank you so much again for coming in today and visiting with us. Could you share with us again your name, uh, your contact information, yes. your company's name, and how people can get in touch with you? Our business is Appraisal and Estate Services. We're located here in Topeka, and we have business cards, and uh, we have our phone number is 230-9664 or 
or 215-9280. And we have an email address, h-o-t-h-k-s at yahoo.com. Love to help you if you need help. And uh, thank you, Carol, for the opportunity to share our business with others. You're welcome. Well, thanks for coming in. Okay. <laughs>